What's up guys, this is Aya with Pro and today I'm going to teach you guys how to use the new automatic AirPod Pro switching in iOS 14 today, so let's get started. Okay, in order to use the new AirPods Pro automatic device switching with the iOS 14 devices, there are a few things you gotta know about. First of all, make sure you have the latest devices, an iPad, iPod Touch, or iPhone 11, iPod Touch 7, and the latest iPad, running iOS 14, beta 8, or the GM coming out tomorrow, I think, I do not know. And make sure your iCloud is turned on on all those devices with Bluetooth turned on, right here. The next thing you guys gotta do is connect your AirPods Pro to your devices here. So, they should connect, yep, yeah, there we go. They've now connected on both devices. Next thing you guys gotta do is update your AirPods Pro to the latest firmware, which is this version over right here, 3A283, which got released today by Apple. And now, for this to work, I'm gonna put in my ears here, so give me a sec. Okay, there we go. My AirPods are hooked up on, the, on both devices here. See the headphone logo and the little AirPo AirPods Pro indicator popped up. Okay, in order to use this feature, I'm going to play a song on this device here. See, I'm gonna hook up my AirPods Pro to this phone right here. So you see my AirPods Pro are now hooked up. So when I play a song here, see, it sounds normal. But now, when I do it on the iPod Touch, this happens. So you see, they automatically switched. So you guys can see, when I started playing the same song on this iPod Touch, you see, it said iOS Pro's AirPods moved to iPod Touch. So just like that. See, when I start playing a song on this iPod, with the same headphones connected, the audio from here moved to this one. But now when I do it from, from this device, you guys see it did the same thing. It says the iOS is AirPods Pro moved to iPhone. So since I started playing a song on my iPhone here, it moved the audio from my iPod Touch to my phone. I'll do it one more time on the iPod Touch. So you see, I started playing a song on my iPod Touch and the AirPods moved to the iPod Touch. That's why I have to have iCloud turned on and Bluetooth turned on. Because basically they're still connected to the same AirPods, both of them. But when you start playing a song on one device, I guess one, you guys can see the AirPods automatically switched over. So, that is really cool. And one more thing I want to talk about they've added today, that Apple also added the spatial audio feature, which I cannot review it today. So I just want, I'll just talk about it here. So the spatial audio makes it sound like you're watching in a, like in a, like a movie theater where it basically makes the surrounding audio sound, sound like it's coming from every spot in the room. That's basically what this does. Cause I tested out earlier today when watching a movie and I compared it when it's on or off, and when it on, when it was on, it made the movie sound so much better, kind of like how it's coming from the Apple HomePod. So when I have it turned off, the movie sounds normal, like they're coming directly from the headphones. Because when I was moving, moving my head every direction in the room, every, the audio sounded like it was coming from every, every direction. When I turned it off, it basically sounded like it was just coming from the headphones, not from everywhere. So that was a pretty cool feature there. Yep, and that's basically how you use the new AirPods Pro automatic device switching on iOS 14. So that's pretty much it for this video. If I did a video, give it a thumbs up.